This is not about gun control. This is about keeping people safe in their homes, on the streets, in the neighborhoods, and in the city of Cleveland. Cleveland Mayor Frank Jackson hopes to reduce violence by rewriting the city's gun laws. Now at 11, hear why some Cleveland leaders and residents are taking aim at the mayor's plan, which they say misses the target. Good evening, I'm Danita Harris. Chris has the night off. Today, Mayor Jackson submitted his plan to completely overhaul Cleveland's gun laws to city council. And tomorrow, he will officially present them to the Public Safety Committee. The mayor wants to limit a person to only one gun purchase every 90 days. He also wants to require gun owners to report any lost or stolen firearms and to report any private gun sales or transfers. But one of his most controversial proposals would create a registry of gun offenders. Tonight, one councilman held a public meeting about how these changes could help reduce violence in Cleveland. News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin talked to one councilman who thinks Mayor Jackson's plan is a misfire. Well, Danita, the councilman that you're talking about is Councilman Zach Reed, and he says that he supports common sense gun laws, but he wonders whether the mayor is violating the Second Amendment. I mean, there was something called the Constitution. And the last time I, I, I read the Constitution, we have the right to bear arms. Councilman Zach Reed questions whether part of Mayor Frank Jackson's new proposed gun laws will stand up in court, specifically the part that limits one gun purchase per person in the city per 90 days. To say that we're going to regulate the time and the amount of guns that someone can have in a period of time, I just don't believe it's constitutional. I don't believe it's fair to the law-abiding citizens who want to bear arms. Reed thinks the focus should be on aggressive police tactics, similar to what they did in New York called stop and frisk. When you've got police officers out there doing more aggressive things, when you're out there putting, going right in the face of these thugs and these, right in the face of these urban terrorists, as I call them, and let them know there's not going to be any quarter for you, that this is going to stop. You're going to stop doing these activities in our wards, in our communities, in our neighborhoods. Councilman Jeff Johnson, who held a community meeting in his ward to talk about violence, says he supports the mayor's gun legislation and believes limiting how many guns a person can buy will save lives. I may understand what some individuals who are hunters or who are enthusiasts, what I, they need to understand is that when people buy more than one gun, they normally go into Many of them go into the inner city neighborhoods or in neighborhoods within in our cities and sell these guns. All right, the mayor did release a statement tonight, and it reads, quote, If passed, this legislation will give us another way to attack the problem of gun violence in Cleveland. Some people feel if these proposals are passed, they're likely to be challenged in a court of law. We're live in Cleveland. I'm Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5. All right, Michael, we'll stay up on top of that.